guys, it's Aviana. I'm here at the airport getting ready to film my airport essentials video. So I know pretty much everybody's filming their videos right now because everybody's probably going on trips, but I also wanted to share with you guys what my essentials are as well as what to look out for at the airport. And first I have this little tin container. Oh, it's upside down, of course. This little tin container that I got from Swiss Airlines when I flew to Germany. It's a Swiss business class. And the funny thing is I wasn't even flying business class and I got this because when I was exiting the plane, people from business class, I guess, had left these. They didn't want them even though they were complimentary. So a flight attendant asked me while I was leaving if I would want it. And I said, uh, yeah, of course, it's awesome and it's a great keepsake and I can totally use it for other stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I put in this for my flight. So if you open it up, you can see that there's a ton of stuff in here and I can actually show you guys what I've got in here. The first thing I've got is this passport. Guys, do not forget your passports. I know people who drove like three hours to the airport just to find out that they didn't have their passport and this was an international flight they were going on so they had to drive all the way home so I cannot stress enough to not forget your passports remember your passports and even if you're not going internationally like this time I'm going domestically not internationally so even if you're doing that, like still, if you have a passport, this is the best form of ID. I think it's very easy, very portable. And I always think I'm always in travel mode when I have this. If you do not have that, you will need an ID of some sort, like a driver's license or a state ID. You definitely need that so you can check in and that they can verify who you are. The next thing I have is this travel size foundation sample from Sephora. This is enough for about two uses and it's perfect to take with you on the plane because these are allowed on the plane. And it's just great because you got you have just the right amount and you don't need to take your whole bottle of foundation. And the next thing I have is this palette, NYC for individual eyes. I got the brown eyes one. And it has a different colors and it also has an illuminator and a primer all in one palette. So if you can guys get one of these or get something that has a bunch of different colors and a primer and a base and any I mean anything kind of like that all in the same palette that way you don't have to rummage through your bag and you don't have a lot of things going on you could just bring this one compact container. next thing I have is this travel size pop beauty mascara and like I said before it's great to have travel size items you can bring the full size items but you're gonna save a lot of room and if you're like looking for something light and you don't have to really rummage around for because you can put it all in one container it's best to go for the smaller items I also have my NYX concealer in there and this is a concealer stick which makes it really easy to apply on the plane and it just comes out in this stick like form and it makes it so easy to apply this on the plane even when you're moving and in turbulence it's really easy to apply so I definitely would recommend this so you guys can look more awake when you get off the plane I mean that's something that I care about the next thing that I have in there is this NYX um, blush in the color pinched and this blush is great I just got it and I love it and I think it's great to have a little bit of blush in your container so that you can put it on your cheeks and just feel a little bit more awake because even if you're going on a daytime flight when you get off that flight you're probably exhausted you look exhausted so you want to add a little bit more color to your cheeks and not look so drained same theme with going along with trying to be awake more I have the NYX um, eyeliner pencil in white, 906 white, and this is perfect for putting on your waterline if you want to look more awake and alert. This is great. You guys definitely need to use it. I'm sorry if I'm talking so fast, you guys. I'm trying to get this to be a shorter video and not like 15 minutes long. <laughs> and the last thing I have is a perfume sample. I don't know. I really like to smell good like all the time even when I'm coming off the plane I like to smell good it's very important to me so things like this these little samples are perfect because you can bring them on the plane with you and right before you get off the plane you can just spritz yourself and there you're ready to go so it's great and that's it that's all that's in my container Yay! so we are ready to go where makeup's concerned now I will show you guys my personal bag because to, um, this time around I'm only taking my personal bag and my computer bag because when you're on a plane you don't because when you're on a plane you're restricted to how many items you can take 
So you wanna take as few items as you can and use up as little space as you can. So this time I'm just gonna take my computer and my personal bag. So I will show you guys what's gonna be in my personal bag, stuff that are is essentials for me. As far as my personal items go, I've got this hand sanitizer because when you get to the airport, you feel very gross because pretty much everything everybody's touched so you want to have some hand sanitizer and I like the ones that smell pretty good so this one smells like bubble gum it says I love bubble gum yummy 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 the next two items that I've got are these two things that are going to save your hair while you're on the plane I've got a teasing comb and I've got hairspray this chi hairspray is great and it's really affordable and this is only 2.6 ounces so we made it within the three ounce limit. So these definitely should include this in your personal bag if you wanna fix up your hair and make it look better before you get off the plane. The next thing I have are these Alme eye makeup remover pads. These come in about 15, uh, 15 count. And these are, these are great if you wanna wipe off your eye makeup and just get a fresher look and just to get that gunk that's off of your face that's been on there the whole flight. If you just wanna take it off and maybe apply some fresh makeup, that is perfect. The next thing I have is this ultra moisturizing lip lemon lip cream and this is from bath and body this will be great because you will be able to moisturize your lips because once you get higher you get drier yeah i know that was corny but it's true the higher you go in elevation the drier your face and your lips get so take some moisturizer and the last two things i have is my journal which i think is great for taking along just so you can write down your thoughts because you're gonna have a lot of downtime on that plane and a book so that you're able to read while you're on the plane as well i just like to pick one that i know will be interesting while i'm on the plane this will help your time to go by a lot faster when you're on that plane because sometimes that plane seems like it's forever even though it's only, you know, six hours or eight hours. Okay, that's kind of long. <laughs> this order of business is your outfit for the airport. Since I've been at the airport a nice amount of times, I know the ins and outs of the airport. What you should wear and what you shouldn't wear. The first thing I would definitely advise is not to wear boots unless they're boots that come on easily and you can take them off easily because without a doubt as you're going through security you will have to take off boots sometimes they let you get through if you have like open toed shoes or if you have sandals or something like that but most of the time you have to take off your shoes so think about it in the way that you should have socks on unless you don't mind standing on that dirty floor with your bare feet your shoes should definitely be ones that come off easily and go on easily because even those few seconds when you're trying to get through the security gate, those matter. So as many seconds as you can save, you should try to do that. The next thing you should try not to wear is any sweatshirts or anything that you know you'll have to take off. As for layering and all that stuff, it's good to layer, but don't put on stuff that, unless you don't mind taking it off and having to take off sweaters and jackets and all this stuff, it's really good to keep yourself simple when you're going to the airport. It's great because I'm coming from Boston, so I'm cold, so of course I'm gonna wear my jacket, but know that as you're walking up to the security counter, you're gonna have to take it off. And as for airport attire, usually I like to go in something comfortable, something that I don't feel like I'm gonna have to take off, <laughs> like a turtleneck or a sweater, like if it's cold. And um, for the airport this time, I'm just probably gonna wear this sweater, which is just a normal sweater, <laughs> and some skinny jeans and my flats. So it's very easy to take them on, take them off. And I will make sure I put on socks, because that's gross to me to be standing on that floor. And the last thing, make sure you bring snacks if you wanna save on money from the airport. Just make sure you bring snacks that you can munch on on the plane and in the airport while you're waiting unless you want to pay like six dollars for a candy bar because that's what it's like at the airport it's kind of crazy and as for water and any drinks like that you cannot bring those past security so you have to wait till you go past security before you can buy something to drink but definitely do that because you should always keep hydrated okay guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys later bye